Greetings, beasts. After much anticipation, we bring you coverage from the royal wedding, where King Arthur's son is set to marry. It's a royal romp. It seems the whole Camelot kingdom turned out to celebrate their marriage. The carriages are all lined up, and the creme de la creme are emerging to take their places. They have hundreds of backstabbing, two-faced, superficial friends pouring in from all over Inglorum and even Europe to attend the wedding. The fashion community and paparazzi are buzzing on what everyone will be wearing and who wasn't invited. This is High Society's Gala of the Year. Hey, who are you calling Gala? Anyway, the bride tried to sneak up on the groom earlier, thinking she was invisible. Apparently, she misunderstood the groom can't see the bride in her wedding dress thing. Given the bedazzled sequence on her dress, I wish I couldn't see the bride. I hope the wedding doesn't make me cry. So full of tradition, enchantment, elegance, suck-ups. You're as sensitive as an armadillo, or a pet rock. Also, Ronan. Whose baby is that you're carrying, and why are you missing a tooth? That was one crazily bachelor party last night. I'm a bit fuzzy, or is it furry, on the details. I'm surprised I even got an invitation to this wedding. When I heard you got a letter, I first thought you'd been writing boys in the Bremen Asylum again. Wait, you mean my house? Well, there are already some troubling signs for this wedding. There have been reports of a wedding crash banger. There's just no keeping him away. This wedding is so tacky. Is that an ice sculpture of Grimfrost? The swans were a nice touch, though. Until somebody slaughtered them, thinking the horde had returned. Who was the wedding planner? Jack Thundercloud? Looks like someone barfed glitter everywhere. Ugh, this wedding is so exciting. Not. I just care for the food. Regardless, I've got a good feeling about this wedding. What kind of feeling is that? Gas? Indigestion? Isn't Yon supposed to be here? Yon has a way of spoiling civilized gatherings. Remember Spring Rites? Oops, here he comes now. Ronan, does this tuxedo make me look fat? Yes. Ronan didn't even look! You're late! I had a hard time getting out of bed this morning. Remember, lift with the knees. Oh, look! Wedding cake! There's a note on it. Yawn. Don't eat this. Why would I eat this note? Oh, ah! This wedding cake is thoroughly delicious! Wow, it's so fabbing! Who's the chef? Roland's round badger. He secretly wants to turn us all into husky furries. Maybe I'll try one of these appetizers. Yuck! Great Gaia! I believe he just stumbled upon the recipe for suck. Look at all these bridesmaids! Looks like they're right picking for the love buzzards! Buzzards? Frogs could fly. Well, this wedding would still be a disaster, but wouldn't it be neat? Oh, Ronan, as punishment, King Arthur is giving you the extravagant bill for the wedding. Hmm, I tell you what, I'm a reasonable beast. Tell him to write down a number that he thinks is fair and equitable, and shove it up his- Ronan! Why don't we charge the beasts as they come in? That we can make money off the wedding. Toast, toast. I have an announcement for the groom. You're going to make love for the first time with the woman you loved all your life. Now, I don't want to put any pressure to perform on you tonight. Instead, I'd like to congratulate you prematurely. In fact, as my wedding gift, I give you this magical elixir for your wedding night. I purchased it from a snake oil salesman. Me. Ronan, you said to be civilized and respectful. Hey, don't go throwing my words back at me. If I wanted my advice, I'd listen to myself when I talked, which is non-stop. It's not a party about me! <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be having a fiesta? <laughs> Say, wait, 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 where's the piñata? <laughs> oh, there it is! <laughs> that was the mother of the bride's hat. I don't have candy, but I have my druidic swarm spell. Anyone call for some insects to add some buzz to the event? Oh no. All this romance and sugar high is making Yon go crazy. Put your clothes back on! Stop dancing naked in front of the fountain! You're scaring the guests away! I celebrate nature's awakening from her winter slumber! This is my dance to the spring! Yeah, everyone's usually too shy to dance at weddings. Those insects are getting everyone hopping now, though. I inspired everyone to dance! Oh, I've got moves you've never seen, baby. Sure, there won't be a marriage for a romantic night between bride and groom. 
for a wedding cake for everyone, but there will certainly be magic and dancing. Oh, don't forget the drinking of grog. That's the most important step. I think the bridesmaids are blushing. No, they're feeling nauseous and allergic to those insect bites. Well, love bites, if you do it correctly. Oh, great! The in-laws are fighting. This wedding has descended into mayhem. Wait, where did Ronin go? Hey, cutie. Like the way I shake my hips? I don't want to show off, but my fire magic will certainly impress you. What's that hideous smell? Is that the prize perfume? Actually, to celebrate the holiday, I've been eating refried beans and gooey cheese and guacamole. Yum! Wrong holiday, Drac. It smells... combustible. Oh no, the bridesmaid's dress caught fire. There goes the honeymoon in Corsica. Oops, there goes Ronan running away with the groom to a land far, far away. I caught the bouquet, and this groom's about to catch my rash. I think it's safe to say that this party is about to become a historical fact. King Arthur is really gonna want to kill Ronan now. Almost everybody who meets Ronan wants to kill him. I suspect he'll be a contestant on the next episode of Real of Torture! I feel I forgot something. <laughs>